describe what you're getting ready for? Yeah, I'd say definitely uh, our biggest test yet. Um, you know, a tough environment, really uh, well-coached team, really talented team. Uh, so I think it's definitely our toughest test yet. Uh, but I think everybody's risen to the occasion this week because, you know, obviously we know it's on line on Saturday. Yeah, and what, what do you see about Notre Dame defensively that just jumps out at you, that uh, – that makes them a little bit different than maybe who you've played so far? Yeah, I think uh, first and foremost, they're talented. Um, you know, across the board, there's really no position where I think they're weak in uh, and a bunch of experience. So uh, they've been the system uh, for a couple of years now. And uh, I think they're really well coached on film. They don't really have any breakdowns or uh, let guys run free. And uh, they make you earn every yard you get. So I'm excited for it. Does your process different. change at all for a week like this? Just the magnitude of the game, knowing what environment you're going into on Saturday? Do you have to prepare yourself mentally differently this week? Uh, I would say so. I think every week uh, I hold myself to an extremely high standard, uh, regardless of who we play and where we play. Um, but. I think in the back of your mind, obviously, you know what it is and you know uh, what type of test you're going to see on, uh, on Saturday night. How different is it for this game than you were preparing for that at the end of the game? Yeah, I think now that I have three games under my belt, um, you know uh, what you'll need to, to do during the week to give you a step ahead. And then um, I think you use that experience and you learn every week and you grow and you kind of just, I think, shape your week. And, you know, every single minute now is kind of mapped out and calculated. And um, I, I feel like that's helped me uh, kind of get in a routine, uh, especially during the week, knowing, OK, I got to watch this amount of film on this day and you know study this uh, tendency. Um, so uh, I think just having those uh, three weeks uh, to kind of get in the flow of things, get in the rhythm of things has been really good. Good to see how guys operate in the secondary. Where have you seen Josh Proctor take the biggest jump from last year to this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, the second year in Coach Null's system, I think he looks a lot more comfortable. I think he's playing extremely fast, uh, as you guys have seen. And then in practice, he's making a ton of plays, too. So he goes out there on Saturday. It's no surprise to anyone uh, the impact he's had. And um, you know, I feel like this is the, the best version he's put out of himself since he's been here. Can you give us an idea of what your Friday night before a game is like? Kind of like after you get back to the hotel or if y'all have a, you know, dinner mm -hmm. and stuff. What, what, what do you like to get done on a Friday night? Obviously, this is a primetime game, so it might be skewed a little, but uh, but what, what do you like to kind of get done? Yeah, I think on Friday nights, you're kind of just uh, dotting your I's and crossing your T's at that point. Um, you know, in uh, the past three weeks, we felt really good uh, with the work week that we put in. So at that point, uh, it's just the, the finishing touches, really, just watching that last little bit of film and then... I think once you feel good and you feel like you know you're you're in a good place, I think it's good to just kind of take a step back from football for a little bit and just kind of enjoy the fellowship with your brothers. Um, and so that's kind of what we've been trying to do the last uh, three weeks, and I think it's been good just kind of balancing football and then kind of life outside of football. Everybody talked about last week after the game on Saturday. You talked about last week being a great week to practice. Has that carried over this week? Have you felt the same? Vibe? Yeah, I feel like this week we've obviously ramped up uh, the intensity. I think just because we know. Um, you know, who we're going up against on Saturday. I feel like everybody has kind of had an edge to them, which is good. Um, and I think we've used that momentum from last week and carried over to this week. I think uh, early on we might have been a little uh, sluggish at practice uh, at times, like the first few weeks. And then last week I feel like we really ramped it up and realized every single rep in practice matters. And so now I feel like we're using uh, that momentum, like I said, from uh, last week's uh, week of work to carry into this week, which has been good. You know, I asked you in the spring uh, uh, whether – felt like Coach Day and y'all had like a different bent to you going into that Georgia game of kind of, you know, not just playing crazy, but letting it all hang out, you know, play, using everything you've got and stuff. And you said, yeah, you you kind of noticed that too, even through the spring and stuff. It, do you feel that way going into this game? And how equipped are you now mentally and physically to let it all hang out, so to speak? Yeah, I think that's definitely uh, the mentality you want to have. Uh, and I think regardless of who you're playing, that should be uh, – Kind of your mindset is just going out there and you know not holding anything back and i feel like when you put in a lot of work um, on and off the field and you feel confident with what you're going to do i i think you earn the right to do that um, i think if you try to cheat it and take shortcuts i don't think you can go out there and truly play free and play as fast as you want to um, but with the work week that we've put in so far, um, I think that everybody will have the confidence to go out there on Saturday night and just let it fly. You've been, have you been to Notre Dame? Did you visit Notre Dame? Uh, I went. We went on like a service trip my freshman year of high school. But that's the, really the only so time. So you've seen Touchdown Jesus? Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. Was there a game in high school? 
so back that time where you felt had a lot of magnitude or anything? Like, sort of the biggest thing you ever played in sort of during high school? Yeah, I would say probably uh, my junior year, we opened up um, at Marietta in Georgia, and they were a really talented team. They won the state championship that year in Georgia, um, and it was the opening game in their new stadium uh, on ESPN, high school game on ESPN, so it was kind of the same uh, magnitude at that stage, I would say, um, you know, a primetime game on national television, I would say, would probably be the biggest comparison. Uh, Marvin thought you looked poised too like the year before, I guess he had played school St. Francis. Yeah, our freshman year, our sophomore year. Yeah. you thought you were like pretty cool, like calm fit. Yeah, yeah, I think that was uh, our first game together, uh, my first start of high school against a really talented team. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, going in that game, you, you don't know what you have until you actually go out there in the field. But I felt, you know, like I kind of eased into that game uh, pretty well for being 15 years old. It was. Yeah, I feel like it's all about a balance. I think you want to have, um, like you said, enough composure and uh, kind of a calm sense about you uh, that, you know, if something doesn't go our way or whatever, you know, the, the guys know that, you know, everything's going to be all right. We're going to work it out. But at the same time, I think you want to have um, kind of that fiery competitive side to you as well. And uh, being able to push the guys and uh, continue to lead in that way. Uh, so I think it's just all about finding that balance. Are these Notre Dame corners the best you guys have faced so far and just what, what stands out? Yeah, they're both uh, really talented. I actually played uh, against Cam Hart in high school. We played him uh, my sophomore year and then obviously seen him last year. Um, they've done uh, a really good job, I think, just getting better every single game. I think you turn the film and you can tell they're, they're playing with confidence um, and uh, they're playing uh, fast in that system, and they do a good job. You know, they're, they're two really talented guys. Uh, that secondary is really good, so it's, I think it's going to be our best test yet. Kyle, what was your, what was your study of Notre Dame like last year as, as the backup? Mm -hmm. I guess, how does some, how does, I know you didn't play that game, you're still having like some of that institutional knowledge going on. Yeah, I think last year was uh, a little different because it was the first game of the year, and especially in the first game of the year when you're watching film from last year, um, you know, I think you have to watch everything with a grain of salt because uh, obviously it's going to be new uh, players in there, uh, and they might have new uh, plays that they might run, schemes, stuff like that. Um, but I think that definitely has helped in that, and, um, you know, obviously playing them last year and seeing uh, what they tried to do to stop us and, uh, you know, kind of how they call a defense and the flow of the game and all that has been good. Um, so I think just using that knowledge and uh, just trying to carry it over to uh, this year, but obviously taking it with a grain of salt, like I said, because, you know, there's uh, some new players in there that we didn't see last year uh, and some new calls. So I think everything has uh, been good, uh, but, you know, I think you just have to watch it, like I said, with a grain of salt. It seems like a few more questions. Coach Harvey, you had a fair amount of, of option plays where you're, you're making that pre-snap or, or post-snap kind of decision. Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the biggest thing um, is one, getting those reps in practice, and then two, uh, seeing it on film and being able to anticipate throws and, like you said, anticipate those windows opening because, you know, they open and close a lot faster. Um, but I think just the more and more reps, the more and more experience I'm getting, the more and more uh, I feel comfortable. So, um, you know, I feel like they're doing a great job of putting me in positions to be successful with those play calls. Last question. Um, I think it honestly depends on the grass. Um, I think the best grass I've ever played on, um, I would say, was probably... Penn State was pretty good last year uh, for the most part, but then there are uh, other places where the grass might be long or, um, you know, just you don't feel great on it. Uh, but I feel like the turf just all around, especially in the Big Ten, is pretty consistent. Uh, but I would say good grass is better than turf, but I think overall just turf because you kind of know what you're going to get with it. All right, Kyle, yep. thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Kyle.